This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The UNI Panthers number three in this year's FCS polls, taking on number 14, Montana, coming up this Saturday, a 4 p.m. kickoff in the Unidome. Coach uh, coming off that season opening win against Iowa State, 25-20. Offensively, what did you like that uh, the UNI offense brought to the table? I liked our, how we prepared and our focus throughout the game. I think we were penalty free for except for one penalty and we did a lot of things. We did a lot of motion, we did a lot of shifting. Uh, we had to do that against this particular defense and to do it in the first game was difficult with new players because the, the core of receivers that were new in the tight ends. But uh, without hesitancy, they did it and they did it quickly and it was effective. Aaron Bailey, over 100 passing yards, over 100 rushing yards, a touchdown uh, both ways. His leadership that you saw in Jack Trice. Well, his leadership throughout since last season. I mean, when he took the reins, he gradually got better. And then this summer, he came into his own knowing that, you know, how he goes sometimes is how you and I offense will go. And uh, how he distributes the ball, he worked on his passing game. And I think he came out of the block like five for seven or seven for nine in his first nine or 10 passes. So he, he's where he needs to be. And yet there's still a lot of work to do, but he, he came out and he started well. One of his big weapons is Tyvis Smith at running back. 68 yards rushing, uh, over 40 yards receiving, and had a touchdown uh, reception coming out of the backfield. Well, 32 yards short of what he wanted, I know that, and uh, we need to get him loose. But he's a big running back, uh, Aaron's a big quarterback, and then we've got those tall receivers out, out to flank it now. So we can spread this field, and we need Tyvis to get his 100, we need, we need Aaron to get his, and then we need our receivers to get theirs. And if we can stay balanced, we can be effective. Other guys in the backfield, Michael Malloy, him and Tyvis Smith kind of had some cramping issues from what I heard, but him and Javion Browning, a couple of really solid running backs behind Tyvis. Exactly. Michael always plays a great game, very effective in what he does for us. But the story of the day probably was JVM Browning from internal, well, the way we see it, because he's waited three years for his opportunity. It came in the third quarter, and when he got the opportunity, he was productive, he moved the chains, and he helped win that football game. It's a lot of fun to see what the offense brought, and uh, it'll be fun to see them progress. Coach, you're in your 16th season. This win against Iowa State was your 130th, makes you now UNI's all-time winningest coach in UNI Panther football history. Uh, there's a lot of guys that have been a part of uh, all those 130 wins, and uh, it means a lot, I know, to you, but uh, uh, to all of Panther football. Well, I tell you what, it's, it's very surreal. It's an honor to, to represent, be represented that way, but it's very surreal because Behind every one of those 130 wins, there's a face, there's a name, there's a supporter. There's so many people that have helped myself, our program, get to this point. So it, it, it's, it's just a, a numerous thanks you have to go out there. And that's what I've been doing ever since that day when people say congrats. Is it's, it's thanking them for allowing us this opportunity to get to this game and win it. All right. Well, congratulations once again. And here's a look 